Hey everybody, and welcome to Let's Play Nancy Drew, Message in a Haunted Mansion. This game is the third game in the Nancy Drew series, and I'm really excited to play it. Um, it's very similar in terms of interface to uh, Stay Tuned for Danger, but there's a few additions. Hi, it's Nancy Drew. Welcome to my latest cyber mystery, Message in a Haunted Mansion. Yay! Choose your difficulty level to start off. If you're new to adventure games, you might want to click on the tutorial button to learn how to play the game. Alright, so the rather noticeable difference here between this and the last game is that there are not uh, three difficulty levels anymore. There are only two difficulty levels, Junior and Senior Detective. So I'm going to go with Senior. I guess this is the Haunted Mansion. It sure is pretty run down. Dear Bess, hello from stormy San Francisco. This time I'm staying in a beautiful Victorian mansion. You'd love the room I'm in. It's full of old Chinese furnishings Ooh. and some interesting knickknacks. The owner of the house, Rose Green, is a friend of Hannah and asked me to come out and help her with some renovation work. She and her friend Abby hope to turn the place into a bed and breakfast by next month. But from what I gathered, Rose isn't sure if she can open in time. Ever since they started the renovations, they've had a lot of accidents. Could it be just bad luck, or is there something more sinister at work? <laughs> I'm sure I'll find out. Love, Nancy. I'm sure you'll find out too, Nancy. So here we are, we're in a room. You find yourself in a room. So I'm guessing this is where we're staying. We've got a nice bed. This is the one that we saw in the picture. Alright. I just know that there's got to be a puzzle here later, right? I mean, come on. There's got to be a reason why we can zoom in on that. And we got a key already, so I can only assume that this is a key that we brought. Uh Oh, wait a minute. Suitcases. It's locked. Yay, it's locked. It's always good to hear that from Nancy. So what do we got here? We got clothes, we got a book. Okay, so it looks like this is um, sort of the precursor to the what we now know as the journal in Nancy Drew games, that are, as usually here on the right side. But here it's in a literal book that we can use, so I'm guessing this is going to be updated throughout the course of the game. Can't really look under the San Francisco paper there at that other thing. I'm kind of paranoid about that ever since Stay Tuned for Danger, because I fell prey to like missing so many of those things. Alright, so let's just close that. Look around here. There's a nice mural on the wall. Nothing over there, though. We got a desk thingy over here, but we can't even look at it. Window. What time is it? It's 8.15 right now. Ooh. A table with a dragon-looking thing. And a statue of a dragon. Daughters of Diligence earn the gold of nine dragons. That's a lot of dragons. And a lot of gold. I don't know if there's anything else here. Um, yeah, that seems to be it. Doesn't look like you can zoom in on the fireplace. And... Yeah, can't go over there either. Ooh, wait a minute. A clock. Okay, well, I can't change the time. But, aha, we can change the alarm setting, which will probably be useful in um, sleeping and waking up at a different time. So at least we have more direct control over time than we did in Stay Tuned for Danger. Let's see what we got over here. Nice rug. A lot of really ornate things in this room. Ooh, what's this? Listen, my child, to this story of dreams, and know that the beginning is more difficult than it seems. When the ten daughters are reunited in order, when the four-sided box loses its border, when the eye of the phoenix is in your hand, when the bird of fire can see again, when the moon sleeps and the sun plays, the king of the sky will shine his rays, and hidden beneath a river of colors will lie a gate to golden wonders. Colors and wonders don't really rhyme. Come on, poet. 
So this is actually the text that Nancy reads uh, if you're playing around with the sound settings for the game, which I actually did quite a bit because I had some sound problems. Let's take a look outside and check this mansion out. Time to investigate here. Alright. We... Oh, we turn by default. Uh, wait a minute. No, no, no. I want to look back here. Is that where we came from? Okay, yes. That is Nancy's room. Just make sure. Yeah, this is definitely it. This is another interesting thing. Is that the kind of circle arrow thing that marks where you can turn around in a 360 degree node has been replaced with literal arrows that are just one way. So that's interesting. Alright, this has got to be used for a puzzle later on, right? Uh, what's over here? Okay, that seems to go out into the main entrance area, so I'm just going to avoid that for now. What's down this hallway? I'm so lost, like spatially confused. Ooh, a door we can actually interact with. Hello, Nancy. I hey there. I arrived safely from your long journey. But I'm sensing an aura of danger around you. I can tell you're an inquisitive type, a little skeptical, and that you don't believe in ghosts. And I'm going to guess that you do believe in ghosts, right? And you do? I sense a very strong but restless spirit within these walls. And a restless spirit can soon become an angry spirit. Hmm. Well, we do know that there's been trouble recently. Maybe she can give us some clues on that. Although I'm not entirely inclined to trust someone who's uh, painting it in these terms. Does your intuition tell you who could be behind these recent accidents? I'm not sure, but for some reason the name Valdez has a strong connection with this mansion. Hmm. Do you have any more information on Mr. Valdez? Now, if you will please excuse me, I need to prepare myself for this evening. At that time, more will be revealed. Interesting. Okay. Um, what's over here? We've got a door and then, ooh, some stairs. I'm going to go back there in a little bit. I think I'm going to save the entrance area for later. Yeah, the one over here. Is there anything else over here? I can't really interact with anything here, it seems. So, I think, is that it? I can't, it doesn't look like I can zoom in on anything else. I can't look at any of these tables and paintings and stuff up close. So this is the hallway we started out in, so... Can we look at that laundry? Ooh! We can look in here, but all there is is a rope, so... Okay, somehow that's got to be useful later on, I'm assuming. Okay, um... Let's go down this way. A door! And there's the rope. The rope is cut. Aww. All right. Well, I'm sure that's going to be important later, but for now, ooh, what's this room? Okay, that looks like the entrance area. Let's continue looking around here first. The entrance area just looks so big. I want to make sure that we cover everything around here before we go out there. Ooh, that looks like a basement. I'm going to wait to go on to that level before we look at everything here. Um, okay, I'm just trying to get my bearings here. This is all new, so... Okay, that goes to the basement. That goes to the entrance area. Ah! This goes somewhere else. Hey there! Hello, Nancy. I'm very glad you could come out here. We can really use your help, seeing how far we are behind schedule. Are you all ready to do some renovation work? Well, neither of these ladies that we just met introduced themselves, but I'm gonna guess that this is Rose, based on uh, the picture we saw at the beginning, right? I can't wait. Last night, you mentioned some accidents. What exactly happened? Yeah. I don't know where to begin. It started out with some small but irritating things, but then the scaffolding collapsed, and just last week we had a gas leak. I really don't know whether I can stand much more of this. I would love to have a week without any accidents. Me too. 
But then it wouldn't be a Nancy Drew game. I can understand your frustration, Rose. Do you think it's just bad luck? I'm not one to believe in bad luck, but it's been one thing after another. Maybe Charlie doesn't have the expertise for these renovations, but his rates are so affordable. I sometimes wonder, though, if this old house would be worth more burned to the ground. Enough chit-chat. Hannah tells me you're a real pro with puzzles. Take a look in the corner. Those wood tiles should fit inside the inlay pattern of the floor. Abby and I tried for hours, but it's just too complicated. I'm sorry for not introducing you around, but everyone posts their schedule here in the dining room. It's kind of like Command Central. Let me know how far you get with that puzzle. And thanks again for helping us, Nancy. You're welcome. So, a few things I picked up from that. This Charlie guy, whoever he is, is already sounding suspicious if he's just going to work for cheap. Maybe he has an ulterior motive for being here, and the uh, cheap rates are a way that he can curry the favor or court the favor of people in here. And the other thing that was interesting is um, this hours thing. Because if we can skip ahead in time, that probably means that we can snoop around whenever people aren't here. What's this thing? Oh, it's the schedule. Okay. So we've got Lewis, Charlie, and Abby. It doesn't say when Rose is here. I'm going to guess that Abby is the girl we met upstairs since I don't see any other female names here. Unless Charlie, I guess I could be short for Charlotte's. Lewis is almost certainly a dude, so... Alright, where's that puzzle? Okay, that looks like it's incomplete. Okay, yeah, this is it. Okay, so this just looks like a tangrams kind of thing. Alright. This looks pretty straightforward. Perfect. Okay, it looks like they light up when you... Is that right? Because it looks like there's a space there. There we go. Um, let's try... Okay, that's not going to fit there. So let's just put in this right there. I don't know if it's going to light up, though. It doesn't look like it did. And this one can go here. And then this one... Yeah, this fits perfectly. Let's do it this way. Good. Will that work? Oh, wait a minute. I'm wondering if maybe the grain of the wood also has to go a certain way. Maybe that's part of the issue. So, like, that may... That probably doesn't go there. That goes there, though. And I think all of this was correct, right? So, maybe... Okay, that looks better. Let's do that. Okay, why is that wrong? It's not lighting up for me, so... Okay, that's lighting up, so that's good. Interesting. I'm wondering what I'm missing here. Is this... Did this light up? It did. Unless lighting up is not the key of the indicator of success or whatever. Okay, so that lit up. And this doesn't? No, it does. There. So we just have to tell her? We know our progress just... Okay, there's something we're missing here, obviously. So I'm wondering... Is there a way that we can tell when something is... Because I'm wondering, is there a significant difference between this piece and this one? It looks like there could be. Oh, no. At first I was like, they got stuck on this for hours, but now I can kind of see why. Honestly, I'm not really seeing anything here that's particularly indicative of... Like, a 
a match in terms of grain. Like that's the that's the thing, right? Okay, so this has to go here, right? There's no other way to make this work. This whole section. I saw it blink a minute ago. We're there you go. Come on. Come on, mouse. There you are. Okay, I think that's correct, right? Because you can't put any other pieces in here. I mean, we can try rotating this. Ah, okay. Okay, I'm just going to keep this the way we had it. I think this is correct. There we go. Okay. So now, we have to figure out which of the triangle ones goes here. That doesn't fit grain-wise. And it doesn't look like that does. Neither does that. Okay, what are we missing here? Is it this? No. I think like this would work. It doesn't. So that leaves this one. Alright, that looks promising. Okay, good. Alright, so that's good to know. This more than likely goes like that. I'm just going to put these all so that the grain faces the same way and hope that that's correct. I don't really know if that's really the indicator of how well this is done, but I, I just don't really see many other ways to do this. I mean, that is some, no pun intended, granular matching that you have to do. And yeah, I'm not really seeing anything here that's particularly indicative of success. I think this is right, because there's like two lines of grain that run through that, right? And they seem to, they seem to go over there as well. Like they, they here in the square. See see how they do that there in the square. So I think that's correct, but I don't know. Ah, uh, yeah, I thought of something. I wonder if the parallelogram thing goes over here in the top area instead of that area. Now that I'm looking at it, I think it might. Well, maybe not. I don't know. I Is there any other orientation that makes sense for this thing? I don't think there is. All right, I'm just going to I'm going to test each of the remaining pieces out to see if there's something here that works, but I don't know. I'm not really seeing something here that makes sense. Why is it lighting up there that's really weird okay so I don't think it's that one eh, maybe that one maybe I th I think there's a possibility okay that looks like a match all right with the way that goes and then ooh. I think these two, wherever these go, are going to have to be next to each other. I, I'm pretty sure that's a given at this point, based on what we're seeing. So that leaves that to go there, right? Hmm. That doesn't exactly seem to line up, so I'm just going to... What about this? My... Thinking that's correct. So it's really this one that's the kind of the oddball here. The thing that really gets me about that though is this little curvy piece there. Where does that go? None of these positions look good. I mean, I suppose it could be that. Uh, that seems to be the most reasonable at this point. 
Oof, I don't like the look of that. That looks good. Is it this one? Is this it? I don't want to leave this puzzle until we're done with it, but... See, the funny thing is, is that these lines kind of abruptly stop here where the square begins, and I don't really know... I don't really know what goes here. But this seems reasonable. Like, I... The, the line that goes through here continues here, and it looks like this kind of dark portion can go over here like that. It certainly seems to be a... Well, wait a minute. Is it better fit than that? That looks like it could go there, too. Ah, so many possibilities here, guys. I don't know. That looks less likely at this point. And I think we've established that these two have to go next to each other. So, I'm going to try something out here real quick. What would happen if we took... Um, was it these two that were supposed to go next to each other? I think... Wait a minute. Oh my goodness, it could be either this or this, right? Uh, oh my goodness, these two look so similar. I think it's this, though. Th this makes more sense. Alright, what if we put this here? Does this work... Ah, that looks feasible, but I don't know. I wish we had more info here. This, that doesn't look like it fits. That does. I, I, I think that's correct. Mm, I don't know. That looks even less likely at this point. And this was that one... That could work, I guess, right? Will that work? See, another thing I'm wondering about, too, is... Are these dark ones supposed to continue the lines here? Established by the lighter ones? Because if so, then this kind of fits, sort of. That seems to have too much of a gap in it, though. Ugh. I don't know, guys. I'm beginning to see why Abby and Rose were stuck on this puzzle for hours now. Still, I think we're on the right track. Because we know that this has to go here, right? Because none of the other pieces fit here. So that definitely goes there. We cannot move... Um, let's just get everything out again. I mean, to wonder if some of these are actually different sizes than the others that look similar. Okay, so we know that... We can't put anything else in here. Like, there's no other size that will go in there. So this has to go here, right? Okay. That's pretty flush with everything that we've got so far. So I think the piece that would go here is pretty easy to deduce. Not just because of the grain, but also just because... There are three pieces that are either very near to it or touch it. And the only logical choice seems to be the one I just put down. Because the other ones just don't match grain-wise. Right, so let's put that there. Alright, so I think that's pretty set. I think. The problem is all of these have grain that go the same way. And they all wrote they all orient this way. The I'm the way I'm putting them here. Faced like that. So at this point, this either goes here. Or it goes here. Uh 
Okay. I think it goes there, because it lit up there, but it didn't light up here. I know that's rather flimsy reasoning, but I... Well, it's lighting up there, so I don't know. It could be either way, but... I'm more inclined to think there. Because this just doesn't seem to match. At least it, it doesn't look like it, so... Eh, nope. The mystery I'm still wondering about is where you put this dark spot that I'm seeing there. This just doesn't seem to fit. This doesn't either. Alright, well, the good news about that is... Oh, wait a minute, this can be rotated as well. I completely neglected that before. That could actually change a lot. Potentially. Oh my goodness. I still think this is pretty reasonable though that that orientation that the way that looks I don't know about that though this eh, nope this though that looks pretty good it's not lighting up though that spot just doesn't seem to light up very well well come to think of it it might be this yeah, I think it's this one, because the, the line there is much more defined, that one that's more black. And then this seems to continue on through there, too. Alright. We still have this to wonder about. I think that looks reasonable the way that's lined up. And we can try experimenting with these other ones here. I saw it light. There we go. Eh, not really impressed with that one. I'm sorry this is taking so long. I just cannot see a very good way to deduce this one. Alright, that didn't look good either. This one, though. Ah, this puzzle. I think it's this one. I I'm pretty sure it's this one at this point. Alright. We'll leave it at that. I think that's pretty good. So, it's just a matter of these three. I think it's just a matter of these three. I mean, who knows? Does that make sense? Or does it make more sense over somewhere else? Maybe that? I don't think it's that. I don't think it's that. <coughs> Excuse me. I thought this was just going to be a simple Tangrams puzzle, but then, then we got into all this wood grain stuff. And then everything just got way more complicated. I'm still wondering if all the grain is to be flush with everything else that we're seeing here that's lighter. That's still the question that's burning for me right now. Okay. That's still not correct. <sighs> I don't like this puzzle. I really don't. I am curious though, now that we know that this can be rotated as well. Is there another spot for that that would make more sense? I mean, this could easily go here. I mean, 
You gotta admit, that, that is a possibility. But, I don't really see these being placed. Well, wait a minute, that could work. That looks sort of like it matches. I don't know. I'm not liking these options. I'm still kind of iffy on this one. Yeah, I think it goes here. I think. This may just have to be a puzzle where I have to look up the answer, because I... I hate to drag you guys through this in the Let's Play. Because it really is just a bunch of trial and error, and... I feel like I've tried so many different combinations here, that I'm not seeing what the correct one would be. I thought this was going to be really easy, but... Wait a minute, this is the one that has to go here, right? Okay. Okay. Yeah, there's definitely something fishy going on with... So here's something interesting. This and this kind of... Kind of form a, a line, almost. Do you guys see that? I still think this goes here because that Okay, I'm I'm more and more convinced that the white wood and the dark wood are not supposed to match. It it doesn't make any sense that they would. I don't know why they would. No pun intended again. <sighs> I feel bad for being so stuck on this for so long though. Okay, that looks reasonable, that right there. And I think we determined earlier that this is pretty reasonable as well. So with that there and that there... I guess the main question I've got are, is that I'm curious if some of the triangle pieces are different sizes still. Like, that's the question I've got. Because this area down here is just really strange with the way the this stuff fits together. Wait, could this be it? Please say this is it. Th this looks good. No? Okay, come on. This piece. This piece right here. Oh, come on, Nancy. How about we switch these two? Does this work? I'm beginning to doubt it, but... Yeah, I don't think that looks good. So it's it seems to be a matter of the piece that goes in there. That just doesn't look very matching. Is the idea to make sure there's no white space, so to speak? It seems like it should be. Okay, there we go. That looks a little better. Maybe it's just a matter of getting all this in place. I did it! There! Man, you have to be super exact with that. Okay. Wow, I don't think I've seen a more precise puzzle in these games than that one. Holy crap. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and just stop the recording here because that took a while. So next time, I think I'm going to go ahead and continue exploring the house, talk to Rose, tell her that that puzzle was ridiculous, and hopefully we can make some more progress. So until then, guys, thank you all so much for watching. If you're enjoying the Let's Play so far, be sure to hit that like button. It lets me know I'm doing something right, and I will catch you on the flip side. So take care, and I will see you next time.